What's up, everybody? Justin here from Poorly Reviewed Beer. Uh, no beer review yet. I'm still uh, in the middle of Booze Free February, but we're get coming down to the home stretch. Next week marks just uh, one week to go, and I'll get into that uh, just a little bit later. But first, this uh, long awaited uh, little mini commentary that I've been talking about on uh, Twitter and on the website and so forth. So, just something I, an, an observation from over the weekend. Uh, that I found. We, we uh, here in Columbia had our big beer event of the year, the the World Beer Festival of Columbia. The World Beer Festival, I believe, is run by the All About Beer magazine or the overall organization uh, running that magazine. They put on a number of the a number of these World Beer Fests here in the the Carolinas, I believe. I know there's a, at least one in Raleigh, Raleigh rather, and uh, a couple other places. Um, again, uh, it's okay. It's kind of a the, you know. A, Carolina's only or a, a regional uh, beer festival. They do like four or five of them total. Uh, so had a, a lot of great beers from what I heard. Fun time as always. They were in a new uh, new location, which is why I think the date changed. Normally they had been at the Columbia Metropolitan Convention Center. They moved out to the state fairgrounds. I think that's why the date moved. I had the date was normally for this event was normally in January, and that's why I did my uh, my non-drinking month of february now that that's been changed i might have to uh change when i don't drink or at least keep an eye on the dates and and plan accordingly uh but regardless of that one of the uh the local beer distributors that uh focuses on craft beer a little bit uh they have they have booth a, a booth along with a number of the other or you know 200 some breweries i know uh, they had come in and they were serving uh, the 2015 vintage of the Goose Island Bourbon County Stout. Now, if I were going around, this was like a special pour. They did one special pour every hour during the festival. They get, I guess they stashed a bunch of bottles and um, kept them for this event. That would be a bit of a red flag for me. Uh, just keeping in mind, I, I've had the, the Bourbon County Stout before. The two, 2014 um, is the only other time I've had it. Uh, it was absolutely terrific. I had the barley wine this past year, the 2016. It was maybe just a, a little too much for me. Probably could have benefited from some aging, to be honest. But uh, a place had it, so I tried it. And um, it's just a little too much for me. And that's fine. That's, you know, I'm not criticizing uh, the 2016. Goose Island claims to have gotten their act together on um, the cleaning and the quality and so forth. But there were a lot of problems with those batches in 2015. And I just don't know if I would want to offer that, take the risk of offering that at a, a festival, like just a, a high profile event of any kind, really, you know, festival, special tasting, beer, dinner, whatever. I wouldn't want to uh, throw this beer, which had some real problems. I just wouldn't want to put it out there and take the risk of it being bad like so many batches were. Um, so that was, that was my thought on it. And, um, so I just want to ask you guys, you know, what do you think? Am I wrong? I'm normally not one to be, you know, saying, Hey, let's start a big conversation in the comments and so forth. I appreciate comments, but I'm not normally one to, to spur a lot of discussion. I just, you know, normally do my reviews and so forth. But in, in this case, I would certainly welcome some, some comments on this matter. Am I just, you know, being too overreactive about this and it's fine to, it's fine to say that if that's the case. Uh, folks that have been to other uh, beer events recently, I know uh, one of my beer tubing colleagues went to a an event just this past same weekend. I don't know if they happen to be pouring this or if he's seen it in a uh, seen it in another festival or anything like that. If if you've seen it in a festival or at a a special special tasting, this twenty fifteen. Goose Island Bourbon County Stout. Let me know. Let me know how it went. And again, am I am I on the right track or am I on the wrong track on my sentiment about not wanting to take a risk with uh, trying this beer in a massively public forum and such a high profile forum. So um, that's all I really had to say. Again, that's you know about four minutes. That's uh, that's all I really had to say on the matter. I welcome any of your comment any of your commentary in the comments below. Uh, so going forward, uh, again, my Booze Free February is wrapping up. I have a video that I'll release either tomorrow or Thursday, as well as one for the weekend. And then starting March 1st, we'll be back on 
Uh, we'll, I'll go back to three videos a week, so I'll do one on Wednesday, March 1st. I'll definitely do it on the weekend. I might I might not do my second one during the week until Friday, but it'll be, it'll be either Wednesday, Thursday weekend or Wednesday, Friday weekend. And then the following week, I'll definitely be back on my normal uh, pre-February schedule of a video review Tuesday, video Thursday, video sometime over the weekend. Um, that's in addition to all the other stuff that will be going on on the website as normal, beers in review, uh, news, and so forth. Other stuff going on in the month of March that I hope to cover, uh, River Rap Brewing Company here in Columbia is holding their third anniversary, uh, I believe second weekend of March. And the, the big uh, St. Pat's and Five Points party, one of the, the biggest St. Patrick's Day parties of the in the country, uh, held I believe the third Saturday in in March, so I hope to be able to cover one or both of those events uh, for the website. Um, River Rap will, of course, have lots of great beer on their third anniversary. St. Pat's tends to be more of a, uh, a macro brew kind of a place, but uh, there's usually a, a, a decent little beer or two that you can uh, that you can find if you're looking. Uh, so that's kind of what's going on, or what's coming up in the month of March here on PRB. The only other thing I'll say is... Uh, recently celebrated one year of video reviews and I just want to give a brief thanks to everybody uh, I did a hundredth hundredth video review video a couple weeks back and um, so I won't say too much here but just um, I want to thank all the the beer tubers that uh, that I've really been getting involved with especially here in the last couple months um, handful of new subscribers from the last uh, couple months um, with all the networking that I've been doing and uh, I appreciate everyone's support, and I appreciate the support of uh, my family as well. And I just wanted to say thank you for helping make PRB a success. Uh, so that's it for this video. Uh, all I'll say is uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.